Okay, so at this point, we have our logical model. We then created the relational model. We did a bunch of changes on the relational model. And then we have generated the DDL, uh, which is nothing but the SQL to create the required database in Apex. So obviously the next logical step is uh, for us to take that DDL file, uh, which we saved in the previous uh, step, uh, to take the DDL file and then upload it into Apex. Okay, so what we do then is, uh, assuming that we saved the DDL file that we got in the previous uh, step, we got the file. Uh, so now what we need to do is to upload it into Apex. So we start up Apex and then once we start Apex, we can uh, either use SQL Workshop uh, from the menu or click on the SQL Workshop icon, whatever uh, works, they're both the same. Okay, so then once we do that, it's going to come up with uh, this kind of an option, right? And then we choose SQL scripts. And then once we go to the SQL script, we, we are able to uh, choose the file. So we click on this uh, and then choose our DDL file uh, that we saved, the SQL file that was generated. So we select that file and then we give some name to the script. Okay, so you could just give the name, uh, you know, name of your project or something like that. Okay, so it's just a file. It's just a name that we are giving to the script. It's not the file name, but it's the name by which we will refer to the script uh, within Apex. So once you give a particular name uh, to the file, uh, you can then say, uh, you know, uh, click on the option up there, right? And then it comes up with this window and then we upload the script. Okay, so once you upload the script, it'll come up uh, right here. Okay, the latest script that you uploaded will be the first row. Okay, uh, so and then, uh, as we've already done several times before, you can run the script by using the icon on the extreme right. Okay, and the script will then execute. Okay, so after uploading, of course, uh, uploading alone is not enough. We need to run the script okay because uploading all it's doing is transferring the file from your computer to apex but the commands inside the file the sql commands inside the file to create the tables they will not be executed unless you run the script within apex okay you do that by clicking on the run icon so it will come up with this particular option just to confirm what you want to run and then you click on run now Okay, now what you're going to see when you run it is, you're going to see a bunch of error messages. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. This is absolutely normal because, remember, when we did the uh, generation of the DDL, we selected the option to delete the tables before creating the tables, right? So obviously, let's say there was a table called uh, customer, okay? now you don't have a table for ca called customer in your Apex database yet, okay? So now when it says delete the table, it's going to say, well, I can't delete the table. It doesn't exist, okay? So that's exactly the messages that you'll see right up front here, right? So as many tables as there are in your, uh, in your uh, database script or in your logical model, you'll see that many error messages to say I'm not able to delete the table unless of course by accident you had a table by the same name already so for example you might already have a table called uh, customer and then you're creating another table called customer in which case delete is necessary it's going to delete the old table and then it'll be able to create your new table called customer that's fine okay so that that's those are the error messages that you'll see and it's completely uh, completely normal Okay, so at this point, you can see that all the tables have been created, right? And then within SQL Workshop, you could actually go to Object Browser, okay? 
and then you'll be able to see the tables as well that you just created okay now what i'm showing here is uh, from a previous version of apex for the tables but you can see now they've changed the user interface in which uh, you see the tables but it's pretty much the same right so you have several things like tables constraints etc on the left hand side and then you got the plus sign so if you click the plus sign next to tables it will open up and you'll see that all the tables uh, that you just uh, uh, you know of co have been created corresponding to your entity types in the logical model okay so once you've done that you've got all the tables uh, pretty much uh, ready to go okay so those are all the new tables that you just created of course the tables are all completely empty uh, you just have empty tables you don't have any rows of data on the tables you will soon be adding data to these tables okay so that's what you're seeing here you can also take a look at some of the other objects which are there like um, you know sequences and triggers and so on you don't need to look at them uh, those are all involved with the auto increment option they connected with that